My compa Ungozi. Kai. Ah ah. Ungozi. <laughs> How do you always know what I want to eat? <laughs> my compassionate compa. <laughs> My copper that knows how to cope with all my SSs. Uh, ah! <laughs> I wish I had met you before I met my wife. I would have married my wife. Hmm. You were the one God showed me. It was just that eye problem. <laughs> Made me not to see you on time. I'm telling you, <laughs> you are everything I can't find in my wife. <laughs> but... You're just so lovely. You just brought food for me. Like you knew that I did not eat at home. I was careful to eat. Many nights, I cry. I cry. I'm telling you. I'm married. I'm lonely. I cry every day. I'm regretting. Just thinking about you. Thinking about you. Oh, God. <laughs> I wonder how you will cope when I finally finish my youth service here. <laughs> <laughs> That's the point. That is if I will release you. Because it's something I'm thinking about, oh. Ah, I will retain you here. I'm keeping you. I will give you a permanent job. Wow. You have to be my vice president in this organization. <laughs> Me? <laughs> Plus this job, if you were agreed to my proposal, I don't mind sending my wife packing and marrying you. Hey. I'm telling you. Boss, all these things for me? Of course. I can't lie to you. When God showed me who my wife was, I lacked vision to see. You were the one. It's <laughs> now it's dawning on me that that revelation was you. Wow. And also remember, you follow me to the hotel today. Oh. I'm telling you, you have to have me massage my back. It's still pain in me. <laughs> really? I took the back pain home yesterday. My wife could not massage it, you know. Hmm. You know, I've told you before, your hand is coding. Uh, <laughs> anything for you, my boss. Anything. <laughs> Meanwhile, how is your wife? Ah, God. I'm suffering. So <laughs> Do you know that last night, my wife cooked potty for me? I couldn't do it. Mm -hmm. I wish I was there for you. That is the point. Thank you for this food. <laughs> yes, so more coolers to cool your temper. Hi, God. My copper. My boss. My copper. He told me that if he had met me before he met his wife, he wouldn't have married her. <laughs> See, that man, I, I just feel for him. I don't even know what his wife is doing. She's not caring for him. He just has done, I'm feeling the, the, the vacuum. Do you get? Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Now you be. I think so you are his past like this. So. You don't even understand the point. <laughs> this, this man is going through a lot. A lot. A lot. I'm, I'm the one caring for him, and he has told me so many things. <sighs> see, see, let me tell you something. You be my guy, I'm not going to feel like for you. That's thing, all those things that man, he tell you so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he won't use you. Forget all those talk. Use me. Hey. Let me see. I beg, I beg, I beg. So let me tell you. Hey. Boss even told me that he's mm -hmm. going to retain me in this office, mm -hmm. and... Okay. I'm going to be the vice president of this organization. Congratulations. Thank you. We'll see. <laughs> so let me tell you, Copper. Eh? Copper. Eh? Copper. What? How many times did I call you? Three times. Whenever a man tells you all those lines, I love you more than my wife. Mm -hmm. If I had met you before I met my wife, all those lines. <laughs> now lie, you. they don't love you. Run away from those men. They love their wife more than they love anything. <laughs> You better run away from them. Don't say I did not tell you. They are just using you like this. Don't say I did not tell you. Run for your life. Abed, thank you for your advice, advice, sir. Okay. Abed, leave me, Jerry. Okay. Ah. All right. Now. <laughs> yeah, so this two point five million. That to, you know, so that's that. Hey. Good morning, sir. Copper or ex copper? <laughs> How are you doing? I'm fine. Good oh, morning, morning. Yeah, this is my wife. Oh, yeah, they always tell you about. <laughs> good morning, Ma. Oh, yeah, so nice. Good to Thank you very much. I'm good to see you. She's uh, um, one of our coppers. Oh, wow. She just passed out. Oh, wow, congratulations. <laughs> Thank you, Ma. Well done. <laughs> Sorry, Ma. Um, before I see my boss. It's okay. 
Please, hope you don't mind me asking you a question. That's fine, it's okay. Okay, um, you know, as a single, yeah. I'm gonna get married soon. I just want to know, like, how do you cope with misunderstanding your marriage? You know, arguments that even wants to lead to, you know, maybe him chasing you out of the house. Him chasing me out? He's yeah. never come to that at all. Yeah, we, we get to have misunderstanding, but not to the point of driving out now. We've been happily, like solidly, beautifully married for 12 years. 12 years? Yes. And you know what? I know the key to my husband's heart. Really? Yes. What's that? His stomach and loves food. Mm -hmm. And I cook very good food for him. Mm -hmm. Right? <laughs> all right, I need to get going. Take care. Catch you. All right. Later. All right. All right. Thank you. Bye. Bye. See you later. All right, yeah. Congrats again. Bye. <laughs> Sarah. Why will you go and be asking my wife questions concerning my marriage? Why did you lie to me you were having issues in your marriage? Don't you understand what privacy means? Hey, <laughs> wow. Anyways, that's not why I'm here. Um, I came to talk to you about my position. You said when I'm done my youth service, you're going to retain me in this organization. I've been done for two weeks. I've not really heard anything from you, so that's why I'm here. Um, that is why my wife was here as well too. So we're trying to like um, check the organization's strengths and um, we realize that we'll not be able to retain anybody for now. Anybody, including me? <laughs> including you. I, if I were you, maybe by now you should have gone back to your state. <laughs> Boris, have you forgotten everything you told me? Eh? You told me you will retain me here. You, you, you even promised to marry me. Eh? What, what are you saying now? I, I, I don't know. I, okay, see, what, what do you want? You, you, is it a job you want or you want to, you, you want me to drive my wife? I don't understand. Eh? Now, even you, she, you saw my wife just now, right? Yes. If you were me, will you drive my wife to marry you? What kind of a talk is that? So you want me to drive my wife to marry you? Over what now? But you would have told me that if you had met me before you met your wife, you would have married me now. No, I met you after I met my wife, so I can't marry you. And I don't know why you guys cannot separate between motivational talk versus reality. Reason now. I, I reason. What I built for years, I'll just straight away because of you, young girl. You understand now? Whatever we did, whatever we had, it was just... Um, office stuff and um, youth service here, oh. excitement. Jesus. You know? Boss, you, you used me. Oh, God. We all used ourselves. We're mutually used. Jesus. We use ourselves in this world. <laughs> Just like that, boss. Um, Copper, please. Eh? Before you came in, some sort of core members, the new set that are already coming in. So please just tell them to come out to interview them because, you know, we have to move on, okay? I'm really, really sorry if you feel offended. Okay, so when will you not travel back? You're wicked. Copper, sorry. Copper, sorry, you're cooler. You don't want to take it, please, eh? Sorry, eh? I'm sorry, I should have eaten just that my wife... I'm sorry, okay? family thank, thank you, you for, for watching, watching our, our video. video yeah do well to subscribe on our youtube channel facebook and instagram at the windows for more videos yeah you want to make a donation or you want to support our ministry the account details are on the screen yeah thank you so much god, god bless, bless you, you. bye, bye.